I have a brand new Acer Aspire Vero laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading on it and I'm also going to clone it. I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new Acer Aspire Vero laptop. It's Acer's new green PC, they call it. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a quick upgrade to the SSD, the M.2 SSD. It came with a 512 gig SSD. I'm going to put a new Samsung SSD 980 1TB. The customer just wants a little more space than 512. Um, there's one M.2 slots in these. I, I was only in one other of this model before. It's relatively new, so this is my second one. Uh, this model exact exactly is an AV15-51-7617. has 11th gen. Core i7, 1195G7, 4 core processor. Comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. We're going to leave that alone. And like I said, the 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. It's got the Intel Iris Xe graphics, Wi Fi 6, 48 watt hour battery, and a full 1080p IPS display. So it's got the basic layout, as is like the Aspire 5s on the right hand side. You got your headphone jack charge and power LED, USB-A port over here on this side, USB-C, a couple of USB-A's, HDMI and an Ethernet, and of course your power cord. These, these, are, these are made from basically recycled materials. It's got an in interesting shape to it. It's kind of squared off but nice, nice and rounded, nothing sharp or jagged so to speak. Um, they put these bright little yellow feet on the bottom. It's kind of cute. These are really easy to get into. All the screws, which I've already taken out, they're all the same length. Um, so that, that's made easy for you. Let me open the lid here from the center. <laughs> the, um, the bezel, the lid, the whole palm rest, the bottom pan are, pan are made out of, what they say, 30% PCR materials, post-consumer resins. Um, the, even the keycaps are made, a, made out of 50% PCR. You can see that or not, but they <laughs> Acer mirror the R and the E key. They're basically backwards uh, in a bright yellow. Um, just to remind you, remind you to reuse, reduce, and recycle. Kind of a cool message, I guess. They got the Intel Core etched into it, as well as Post Consumer Products logo etched into it over there. Kind of different. Um, so basically, I'm just going it, to, it's brand new out of the box, doesn't have any customer data on it yet, but I'm just going to do a clone. I'm going to use the free Samsung data migration software because I'm using the Samsung Drive. If you choose to use a different brand, that's fine, like Western Digital, Kingston, A-Data. They have the Acronis True Image free cloning software you can download right from their website. This is the SSD I'm going to put in it, one terabyte. Uh, I'm going to use my Trustio uh, USB to NVMe M.2 adapter, the drive. Here, I'll just pop it right in there. These don't require any tools. It's kind of nice. You just take the adapter, slide the drive in, snap it in. Pops in over this little rubber grommet right here. Said no, no tools. Close it up. It comes with a USB-C. C to C adapter. You also get a USB C to A adapter if you want to, if you don't have a USB C port. So it's pretty versatile. But this particular one, I have a link down below where you can get this. It only supports M.2 PCI Express uh, SSD, not SATA SSDs. So be mindful of that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into the cloning, and then after I'm done cloning, I'm going to open it up and install the new drive and see what happens. All right, guys, I got set up for cloning here. I, I switched it to like the dark mode. It's a little easier to see the software that way. A um, couple things you want to do before you clone, whether you have data or don't, or just Windows, like in my case. Uh, number one, don't be connected to the internet. You don't want Windows updates downloaded and trying to install during your clone. Maybe disable your power management, like the monitor turning off and especially sleep mode and screen savers or whatever you got going on there. Also, with Windows 10 or 11, go to your start and then go to settings here. And over here, click on privacy and security. And look for device encryption. 
most of the manufacturers ship this off, but after some updates, sometimes I've seen it turn back on. You want to make sure device encryption is turned off. Um, you can always, you can simply turn it back on when you're done cloning and even uninstall your cloning software. So I'm just going to get right into the cloning here. Like I showed you, I put our SSD, our SSD 980 from Samsung in our little adapter. I'm going to plug it into the USB-C port on the left side over here. Boom, it recognized it. I'm just going to double click the icon here. Going to hit yes. Once it pops up here, it's pretty straightforward. Here's our source drive, the Kingston 512 SSD. Down here for our target drive, we're going to choose the SSD 980. Go down here and just click on start. And we're going to hit OK. It's telling us it's going to be shut down. Once the clone is finished, so we can install the new SSD in the laptop. So that's at 0% there. Sorry about that glare. Going to let that get started. And I'll speed it up for the video. Don't want to bore you too much. But I got lots of videos on different cloning methods. Uh, I could have did a clean install, but I just chose to do the clone just to show you how easy it can be using the Samsung data migration software. Just want to get that started there. We're at 1%. So we're just going to let that tick along, and I'll be back right at the end. All right, guys, I'm back. It finished. That clone took a little over about six and a half minutes, roughly, it looks like. So I'm just going to click on shutdown now. I'm going to unplug our little dongle adapter here. Once it's powered off. Oh, another thing I um, forgot to mention when you're cloning, you might want to have your power cord plugged in so it's not running on just battery, just in case. So I'm going to disconnect the power cord. It's all shut down. So now I'm going to Flip it over and open it up. I'll show you how to open it up and see what's inside. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open it up. I got the little adapter here. I'm going to pop our nice and toasty warm SSD out of here. Boom, just like that. Set that aside for a moment. Now, all these screws, like I said, are all the same. I've already taken them out. Uh, number one magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver gets a nice good solid bite on them so that should work good for you and I'm just going to use my plastic spudger tool here these work pretty well uh, these are a pretty tight fit in the seam here but I'm going to start right over here in this corner just kind of slide it gently along the front here get it started You see it lifts up fairly easy. You always want to be careful along the back here. Don't just jerk it off. Just slowly kind of work it around here if you can. Grab my little spudger here. Just like that. I want to be careful of that Ethernet little door over there. Don't put too much pressure on that. Then along the back here, same thing, pretty straightforward. Always make sure you're protected against static discharge. Guys, when you're going inside your new computer or old computer, just be careful. You see, it comes off without too much difficulty. Got a little thermal pad area here for the SSD. <clears throat> Turn around this way. All right, here's what we got in an Acer Aspire Vero. Here's the factory SSD. We're going to take out in a minute here. Number zero Phillips. We'll work good on that. It's got a total of 16 gigs of DDR4 3200. There's eight gigabytes on board on these. Unfortunately, there's only one expansion slot because of the onboard memory. So that's an eight as well. So you got a total of 16. We're going to leave that alone. Here's our battery Wi-Fi 6 car. Now this has dual fans. I could hear them spinning when it was doing the clone. It wasn't or really loud, but you can definitely hear the fans running in there for added cooling because of that Core i7 CPU. So let me go ahead without further ado. Well, I'm going to be super careful, but if you want to disconnect your battery, it's right here. They're real easy to disconnect. I might as well show you how to do that. Just got to carefully lift up this tape. Don't touch anything you don't have to. And we're just going to get a 
Mr. Tape out of the way. Just gotta remember to put it back on. Gonna hold this cable and it just slides back. Get my finger in there, guys. Sorry, I know you can't see. Sorry. We got a nice pointy nylon non conductive tool I'm using here. Now we got it disconnected, but once you do that, if you're gonna disconnect your battery, carefully open your lid and let's hit the power button a few times. Hold it in. Get rid of all the juice flowing around in the caps in there. Just like that. Now we're gonna take out the SSD. Just one screw. Now that's the 512, I'm gonna give that to the customer, do what they want with. And there's no two and a half inch bay in here. You can't put a two and a half inch drive in these like you can the Aspire 5 series, unfortunately. Plug that back in. They needed the room for the extra fan in there. It looks like. This is the only second barrel I've been in. The other one was an I-5 and it was identical basically to this, identical. So there we got that. We got to hook that battery back up real quick. And once you hook that up, just don't touch anything. You don't have to. Please. I got to turn it here. Make sure it goes in all the way. Nothing worse than having to open it back up just for that. And get Mr. Tape here. Oops. I don't know how many times I've done this. I forget to put the little piece of tape back over. It's not really necessary. It's just more. I like that connector is just going to fall out of there. But there it looks prettier. Anyway. So there, we got the one terabyte. Let's see if our clone was good. I'm not gonna put all the screws back in it just yet. I always wait, just in case. Uh, do, 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 we're good. So I'm just gonna carefully snap it back in place. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze real hard on your lid when you're smooshing it back together. You don't wanna damage your screen from the backside because it can happen. I've seen it happen. These, these aren't very difficult to get into. So I don't need the power cord right now. I just want to see if we got a good clone. Uh, sorry guys, I got interrupted. Let me turn this on again, my bad. So let's see if we got a good clone. Seems like the interruptions always come at the worst times, but that's what editing's for, right? <laughs> so far so good. Vero for planet Earth, or Vero. Vero, Vero, I think it's Vero. Looks like we got a clone. Yay, awesome. So let me just, uh, do, 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 let me just go over here, to kind of sideways here, guys. There's our new one terabyte SSD 980 from Samsung, Samsung all nice and clone. We can uninstall the cloning software and get on with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. That's all I got on this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.